Hey ladies, you reached Deanna Owens here from SoNatchaOnes.com, also Sonatra One here on YouTube. And we're coming at you guys right now to debut a wig from Glamour House of Hair that I made on a couple days ago. And I went ahead and dyed the hair. I dyed it the cinnamon brown colors, the same color as my hair. And I installed it on this wig cap from Omega Sports. It's a black swim cap. Very easy, and I love installing my texture textured hair on wig caps because that way when I spray it, detangle it, all that stuff is not actually on my real hair. It's naturally curly. Um, it's actually called natural beauty, but I meant to say, you know, naturally curly. Um, I love uh, the fact that it's really messy. I don't like for all my curls to look exactly like the uniform look. I don't like that. So I went ahead and I took the Denman brush and I just picked out some of it. But usually the hair will be perfectly, perfectly coiled. If you like a perfectly coiled look, perfect for you. Um, when the hair dries, it doesn't dry in a frizzy state. It dries perfectly the way it was when it was originally wet. So that's, a, that's huge with me when it comes to textures. I usually rock um, Bohemian Ramona, but lately the hair has been absolutely horrible. Um, so I had to find an immediate replacement. And Glamour House of Hair um, was a definite immediate replacement for me. I, I um, got the hair not off of reviews on YouTube but because I, I had a client and I actually worked with it myself. The hair is beautiful. Once it's wet, um, the hair goes to an amazing curl once you start brushing with a Denman brush. I would strongly suggest to use a brush at all times with this hair. Um, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to install. Well, this is just a natural wig, so of course it's going to be easy. Um, let me find the back of my hair. And usually, like I tell my clients, this wig right here, this full wig has no closure piece at all. It's actually the Melita pattern on a wig. And I absolutely love it. Look at the way it looks in the front. And I ordered a 14 and 16 inch. Um, and I cut it usually around my collarbone. I usually never wear um, hair that's the same exact length that I would like to buy. I usually buy a little longer than I cut it. Um, my hair, as you can see, is a cinnamon brown color. And I went ahead and dyed this hair the same, the same color as my hair. So if you take a look right here, it matches perfectly. Cinnamon brown, um, Sasha and Carson. This hair was crazy easy to dye. When I say crazy easy, it was crazy easy to dye as well as highlight. These little brown pieces right here were beyond. Um, I went ahead and took the hair out of the bundles and I just pieced up some of the curls and I actually applied the, the bleach with my fingers on each curl that I wanted highlighted and it was very easy. That's a thumbs up for, um, that's a thumbs up for Glamour House of Hair. Once again, Glamour House of Hair 14, 16, that's been cut to probably like around 12, eight inch kind of, um, it's called Natural Beauty. Last night, if you guys follow me on Instagram, so not your one, um, I had this part right here left out and I also had this small braid right here where my wig was sitting at. I'm gonna do the same exact thing today, except for I'm not gonna have any hair left out. I put the wig on. And because it is a custom wig, it fits my hair perfectly, and I don't have to worry about um, it being too tight or not or being too loose. There are no combs inside of this wig; it's just straight elastic. And you guys see how this looks? I, this is not my look. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna make sure that it's secure in the back, and it comes to where I want it to reach at, which is right around here. I'm going to then take this and push it back just a little bit off my face. I'm going to come close to the camera so you guys can see exactly how it looks. And you see how easy it was. This is the black band. All I have to do is take that and flip it under. Crazy easy. Take it, flip it under. I'm going to push it back a little farther. Because I don't, I, I like to have it where it's in my face. But also off my face. And this is Glamour House of Hair Natural Beauty. I absolutely love this hair. Um, let's get into the review. When I originally got it, it came beautifully packaged in a white blinged out box. Um, it comes into a, it comes in a ripple pattern. I'll show you guys that in just a second. Um, it didn't look like it could really do much, but I've seen the hair in action before, so I knew exactly what I was going to get. I use a Denman brush. Always use a Denman brush when using this hair. Um, I washed the hair first. I washed it with Paul Mitchell's. I washed it with um, Shea Moisture and I also shampooed it with um, uh, AG Recoil. So I did three shampoos and I did one condition with the AG Recoil uh, conditioner. I didn't have any type of conditioner in it when, when I started brushing it. Everything was washed out and the curls started to come beautiful. It just, it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. The curls were perfect. Um, then I went ahead and I installed it onto the wig while it was wet and I just wash the hair dry in its natural state. Um, this hair, once you actually let it drip dry, 
it's not going to be big like this. It's going to be very perfectly coiled um, and it dries. What's so funny is the hair actually dries in the same state that you have when it's wet. So it's not going to, um, like say for instance Bohemia or Mona, um, when you dry it, it comes out more puffy. But this hair, it stays in the same curl pattern as when it was wet, um, which is very, very important. It's also a thumbs up. I, for one, I'm not one of the people that love the perfectly coiled texture look. So I went ahead and used a Denman brush and I brushed, I like, I didn't brush it, but I just went like that. Like I, I'll show you guys exactly what I did. I used my brush and I just went like that, like that. To not really take away the curl and not make it too bushy, but I wanted to just pull the curls out. And I love that messy, not too much thought, very cute look. So this is the side view of it. And we all know with kinky hair, it's never done. You can continue to pull in this hair until it's still gonna look the same to you guys, but to me, it's gonna look a little different. Side view. And I'll show you the back view of the hair. There's no closure whatsoever. The hair is absolutely perfect. I love it. My husband loved it, most, most importantly. Um, and, you know, it's, it's staying true to my Afro look. You know, this is what I wanna have when I get, my hair actually starts growing out more. Um, the hair was is very easy to manage. I actually slept in the wig and I wore this uh, bonnet over it and in the morning it looked really smushed um, but not smushed in a way to where it's like oh my god this is going to be a mess I have to comb my hair but smushed like it was tightly like compact. Um, then I went ahead and I just shook my hair because it was originally this morning it was still down to my perimeter but I took it off very easy within like five minutes um, just so I could get to my hair so I can wash it. And um, I went like that. I did not use a spray bottle this morning. Shook it a little bit and then it went back exactly the way it was yesterday. I absolutely love this hair. Um, I know that yes, not yesterday, but the other day when I was at, when I got out of the package, um, questions people have is does it shed? How does it respond to dye? Um, how, how does the hair dry? Uh, first things first, the hair dyed like so perfectly. It's the, it's, I've never had hair dyed this fast and the color was amazing. Um, when I bleached it, it turned within a couple of, I'd say probably 20 to 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Did not take long, as well, didn't take long at all. Um, and uh, the way that it responds when I, when I uh, comb it or pull it with my fingers, don't comb it. That's, don't, don't, don't quote me on that one. Do not comb the hair. Um, because it's an afro texture, like that's that's a setup. Don't comb the hair; it's gonna be pointless. The hair's gonna get very bushy, and uh, I would strongly suggest you use a dimming brush. Rather than combing, use a dimming brush. Um, when I wet the hair, um, it dried perfectly. It dried in the same pattern that it did when it was wet, so that's a, that's like a thumbs up. I know that most uh, texture patterns, um, except for one other one, I know that with Mona and Bohemi, when it dried, it did not dry in a perfectly coiled state. It dried more so frizzy and expanded. This right here, it stayed the same way. It did not expand. Um, it only got bigger because I, I wanted it to get bigger. So this is perfect about this hair. It does not grow during the day. It stays the same. Um, which is super duper important. Who wants to have your afro texture when you wake up in the morning and you see it and it looks nice like this and then by the end of the day it's big. This hair does not grow over the over time. Um, I was in a very small space yesterday when I was when I was driving and the hair did not look bad at all when I got out of the car. Um, I love it. I got in the shower with this hair. The hair did not expand um, more than anything. It just it just it got more like I don't know. I don't know what it did. I just know it. I, I love the hair. I love it. See how this hair, I scratch my shoulders up. I actually like that look a little more. I like it closer to my bottoms. Crazy. Maybe I should have, you know what, to make it come up a little more, I could have a collar. That would be cute. The hair was originally 14 to 16. I cut it. And I always cut it. I don't know why. I always cut it. Um, if you want to get something to where it fits right as your collarbone, you could definitely get a 14 inch, well, two 14 inches, um, and that would be perfect. Actually, I wasn't a 14 it was, I got a 12 14. That's what I did. I got a 12 14. So if you want to get two 14s, you can definitely get it to just all reach down here. Um, my suggestion for you is I did buy two different lengths. Um, I would I would actually recommend that you get two of the same lengths. That way, um, sometimes the curls would dry kind of like one will seem like it stretches longer than the other. Um, my 14 inch, it's true to length. Or oh, yeah, it's it's not one of those things where you get 16 inch and it looks like, oh my god it looks a hot mess or you don't get 14 inches like oh my god this is like a 12 inch so it looks it's it's when you got the package you're not gonna be surprised it's not gonna be like a small thing like 
some other companies, you'll say 12 inches, it'll look like eight. So you get a 14 inch and it looks like 14 and the package is really nice. Um, so anyway, uh, does it shed? Yes, it does. Only when it's wet and you're actually combing it out. So um, let, me, let me be really specific when I say this. Um, I used a Denman brush and I was combing through the hair, like combing it to detangle it, to make sure that the curl patterns were coming together and make sure they were forming. Um, like the same pictures I posted on Instagram. And yes, the hair does come off the weft. Now, one important thing is with all kinky hair, when they're doing the hackling process or actually putting on the weft, the hair is going to come off the weft. But what's really important is not that process, but when you actually are wearing it, is it shedding? Is it going anywhere? Am I, when I'm pulling my hair, is, is hair coming out? And the answer is no. The hair, no. No, 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 no. When it's in its dry state, when you actually are wearing your hair, but when you're actually applying pressure and brushing the hair hard like I was or like anybody will when they're trying to get the curl pattern to come out, yes, the hair is going to come out. Um... And other than that, the hair is fine. The hair is fine. Um, I actually was I actually enjoyed knowing the hair was coming off the weft because it was so big. I saw the full two packs, and I needed some of the hair to come out. I was even thinking about thinning the hair, but with um, the tangling process, it did its own thing naturally, and I absolutely love the hair. Um, now, here's one extra thing. One extra thing. I got another texture inside the box. They called it. I think it's called radiance. Radiance. And it's 14 inches, either 14 or 12, I'm not sure. I think it's 14 inches. And look at the texture on this hair. You guys see that? I will show you guys how it flat irons on a different day. It's very thick. Um, her bundles are very, very thick. Look at the weft. See that? That's super duper amazing. I know that. When I pinch my client's hair, I need to be able to go like that and not be able to see anything. And that's exactly what this weft does for me. It gives me everything under the sun. It gives me everything. I'm going to definitely be rocking this um, in the coming months. I'll probably sell it on a wig, probably buy a lace closure. I'm not sure. But I'll be showing you guys exactly how it is in a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Glamour House of Hair Natural Beauty.